So I want to talk about the Ouse Valley PDP education system. Um, we'll, we'll have a look at the goal behind it, why we want that as a goal, why we want this as part of the programme, you know, the, the what you'll actually be doing and then how that benefits you guys. So the goal is to educate you guys to an elite level of football knowledge. Now in this country, as far as we are concerned, that's great brand. All right, and there's other goals as well. You know, you might want to play in Europe, you might want to play abroad, uh, or, or even just when we get to the Prem, you know, there's going to be a certain level of knowledge that we need. Now we don't have the experience, the players who have done it for 20 years coming through. You know, we're a young team, so we need to educate you guys about what football is, um, and that's where we think this education program can can really develop that. So why do we want it? So it gives you an elite level of knowledge, and it gives you a deeper understanding of the game. And by deeper understanding, I mean that you can start to look through playbooks and see base concepts, base schemes, base uh, essentially the fundamentals of football. Um, and that that's kind of where we want you guys to get to. The reason we want you to get to that is it allows you to focus on the how and not the what. So when you line up, you're not playing the play, you're playing the person in front of you. And that's a very different level of football. When you're not focused on the what you're doing, you're focused on the how you're going to do it. That's a massive jump. All right, And we are still very much at the what stage at the moment, and we, we need to take that next step in order to be an elite football team. An elite football program, and that's what we want to do. So focusing on yourself and developing the how behind you're going to do this stuff. So you know, looking at the player, developing it, having multiple answers to the same question. You know, there's multiple ways you could run the same things. You guys need to be educated enough to be able to do that. And then you know, there's just a certain verbiage in football that that people need to be able to talk. So again, you can go up to the Great Britain program and they can ask you to run certain things and you just know what they are. You know, the, the guys who were in Iceland will have seen it. When we were talking with you know, players who have played for eight, ten years, we can just ask them to run something and they know it. They know what it looks like and all we are doing is tweaking it to suit our, ourselves in that, in that game. Um, and that's where we want to get to. If you're able to understand a lot of football, you're able to talk football, what it does is it opens up the game. You can make minor adjustments very, very quickly. You don't need to draw everything up. You don't need to sit there and explain things. People can just start to answer the questions themselves. And that, that's where we want to get to. So the, what will you actually be doing? Well, there'll be, there'll be regular testing, the same way that you're getting tested physically. We're also going to test you mentally. And we'll go over a lot of different parts of it. So there'll be some generic stuff and some specific stuff. And maybe that, I mean... There'll be generic football terms that you should know. Um, and there'll be some specific bits for certain positions. Now, that might not be the position you play, but you should still have a rough idea about what they're doing. You know, being, a, being educated means knowing everything, not just your particular role. You know, if you've only played wide receiver, that's fine. You should know that. But there's no reason you shouldn't still understand what the offensive line are doing or the defensive line are doing. All right. So we'll look at some offensive stuff, uh, generic, offensive, and specific to us. The specific stuff will come uh, February, March, April time when we start installing th things. Same with the defence, same with the special teams. Um, so there'll be generic things that we expect you to know, and then there'll be specific things that we're installing with you. Um, and then we'll, you know, if we've installed it, we expect you guys to know it and be able to answer it. Um, We'll do some real stuff because it's massively important. Um, there's a lot of things that go on that teams panic about simply because they don't know the rules. Um, and we need to be able to, to get through that. Also, when you know the rules, you can start to take advantage of some of it. You know, there's some grey areas and some things, there's some bits that teams do because that's what they've always known, whereas it's not actually a rule. Um, so we can start to take advantage of some of that when we know more than they do. Right. Again, we're just giving ourselves opportunities to answer the same question in multiple different fashions. And then we'll go some overview stuff, some plays, some scenarios. So we'll put you guys in a position to answer some questions about very specific scenarios. You know, and that will cover all of the above. So we'll cover the rules, the special teams, defence, offence. All of that stuff will be, will be built into 
play scenarios, that kind of thing. The way we're going to do this is, like I said, regular online testing. Um, it shouldn't take you too long to do. Um, what we'll do is, once you do the test, we'll then give you individualised feedback, and then we can have we can have one to one conversations based on based on that feedback. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to do it through Google Forms. All right. Um, it's just an easy, free way to get things out to you guys, and it's fillable on PC, tablet, phone. You know, you can do it on whatever you want. Um, and that's the, the the easiest way to get it about. And this is kind of the the kind of thing you're going to see. So what we'll do is we'll put up a diagram, and then we'll ask multiple questions on that diagram. What we will do is there'll be like thirty questions, but you guys only get twenty minutes to answer it. All right. So the reason for that is that one, you can't open book it. You can't just sit there with a playbook and Google open, and be able to answer these questions. Um, that defies the point, really. Uh, and then also, it's it's a skill being able to do this stuff, being able to prioritize. So what I would suggest you do is you don't answer the questions one through thirty. You go through it and you read them and you answer the ones you know straight away, and then you go back and do the other ones. So that in itself is a skill, a life skill that people need and people really don't have. And this is another part of the PDP that we want to be able to do is, you know, it's not just about educating you guys on football, it's about educating you guys to be better people outside of football. And I genuinely believe this is a skill that almost everyone needs and very, very few people have. Um, people who are good at exams at school tend to be able to do this, but most people aren't good at exams. Um, so that's um, another example there, you've got a picture, there'll be multiple questions based on that picture that we'll expect you to know. Now bear in mind, if you're an offensive player, defensive player, you know, it doesn't matter what, you'll answer all of them. That's the whole point in it, is that there's a base verbiage of football that you should know. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start to give some feedback. So this is an example test that we've done with the coaches. Um, Coach who done this one will rename nameless, but uh, they got a couple of questions wrong deliberately, so we could spend some time doing the feedback. And that's you, you can see where it's kind of going with that. So that question, those private comments will come through to you via email. Um, there are things that I've wrote based on your specific test. Um, the test will mark themselves, so you'll get your score straight away. As soon as you click submit, your score will show. And what it'll do is it'll show up in the classroom for me. I can then sit and go through it and review your answers individually and then give you some feedback. After a couple of weeks, if we start to see a trend, you know, your scores aren't getting any higher or they're getting lower, or there's a very specific area that you're lacking some knowledge on, we'll have a one-to-one -one conversation and I'll start to advise you guys on some ways to, you know, build your knowledge. Where are good places to go and look, good books to go and read, this kind of stuff. Um, one of the ways we are going to make sure you guys have the answers is there's going to be a PDP video collection on Huddle. So this will only be available to PDP players. And this will show guys basically what football is. Uh, and I'll go through some of the basic things. All right, so this is what a uh, 40 front is. This is what a smash concept is. This is what, you know, and we'll give you the basic details about what they are so that you have that information there that you can go and look at it. Uh, again, it's only open to PDP players, so if you're not signed up, you won't get access to this. But th this is the way we are guys are going to, we are going to teach you this stuff. Uh, we can't have, um, uh, you know, 40 hours a week in the classroom with you, so we'll, get, we'll provide you the information, and then it's up to you to go and look at it. All right, so again, with the one-to-one -one conversations, if we start to see that you're not actually looking at this stuff, bear in mind on huddle we can check then you know we're going to have a one-to-one -one conversation and see like you know what what are you doing here because if you're not reviewing the material and you're not getting any better then you know we need to change that and we need to change that attitude so that's something we'll have a conversation about so that's pretty much it for the education um it's a it's a big step for us in terms of a club to be able to educate you guys to this but it's something that uh, will really help develop us as a, as a club and I, as you guys as people and um, yeah 
it's going to be good for them.